Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. I'm so happy that you're here. How are you doing? Is that a loaded question? I'm sorry if I overstepped. I'm doing okay. I feel like I am coming back around. If this is your first vlog. We just got back from Florida. You can go ahead and watch that Florida playlist if you want to. It's right there on my channel, Plus Size in Canada. Super fun, Florida 2022. There won't be a Florida 2023. If there is, there will be no children invited. It'll just be Curtis and I, but we had a great trip. It ended on a sour note, but I am starting to feel better. I'm starting to feel less stressed. A few of you said you just need to go into a room and cry for a little bit. I did that. Thanks for the advice. I did that. Um, I feel a lot better. I felt like I just had to like, release all that energy in a weird way. I, I don't know. It just, it was weighing on me and I had to just kind of let it out, you know, let it go. <laughs> Thank you, Elsa. <laughs> so much better and we are getting back to our regular routine here at home and because our regular routine here at home is kind of crazy yes there's a lot on the go at all times I did a grocery pickup I did a let me order groceries at 2 a.m. in the morning on my phone downstairs in my bedroom while Curtis and I watched Twilight which we like to do about every year it is like love it or hate it I don't care I don't care if your team um, Jacob or Team Edward. I don't care if you don't like Kristen Stewart or if you do. I like Twilight. I really do. I loved the books. I loved the movies. And Curtis loves the movies with me. The first time he watched them, Skylar and Cooper were babies. I think it came out in 2008. The movies, the first movie at least. And we've kind of watched it through. Anyways, I every time we watch it, it's romantic. It just is. I know that's kind of weird. I know, like some people are like, oh, the notebook. I'm like, nah, give me vampires. Give me some bad guys, some good guys. Give me like a little love triangle when it's like, who's she gonna be with? Ooh, I don't know. We have uh, Monsieur number one who is a little bit cut, a little bit pale and a lot of bit, mm -hmm. And then we have Monsieur numero deux who is ripped, who is uh, like, can uh, yeah okay I'm 36 okay I'm like <laughs> I'm 36 and when they filmed the movies they may have been younger so I'm blushing now but um I was also younger when those movies came out and I think they're around the same age as me now so like it's totally okay it's not like I have a crush on Troy Bolton who is Zac Efron and yes I have a crush on him too okay I'm dirty I'm gross, okay? Have you seen Zac Efron lately? It's not my fault. <sighs> I just felt like that needed to be said. <laughs> but because we have been so busy, I decided to make a grocery order at 2 a.m. because I was just, you know how I do, laying there, thinking about all of the things, and I literally had my hair halfway straightened. I had a bun on top of my head with the rest of my hair that wasn't straightened yet and with my hair wrap that's still in my hair from Florida. Still love it. Um, anyways, yeah, thinking of, well, how am I going to, when he's been asking for yellow rice, how am I going to get that? Cooper wants mint Oreos. We're going to Costco, but I don't have time to go to Costco and Superstore. How am I going to do it all? Also, Skylar has swimming lessons today, which it's like a big swimming lessons. He has like, it's weekend classes. They have a test today. It is very intense because he's doing his training to be a lifeguard now. So um, that's his hopes for the summer. So we're dealing with that. We also have a dog birthday party to go to today for Lulu, which is Jasper's, can we say girlfriend? Is that... Like where we're kind of family, I don't know, dogs, they're not related in real life. Um, I don't know. I could say girlfriend, I could say sister, sweet home Alabama, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so 
I did a grocery order last night and I immediately felt less stressed. I was like, this is the best damn idea I have had since we went to Disney World. Okay, this is a really good idea. I like it. I just got a few things. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how much I paid for it. $103.51. It ended up being less than I thought it was going to be because I wanted to get some hot dogs that were on sale and apparently they didn't have that item. Normally they will substitute it for an item that is similar to that one. But this time they were just like, here, check out your substitution. Tell me if you're okay with it. And then like on, this is through my email. They send you an email to tell you there's a substitution. Anyways, um, the email said, no substitution. You're just not getting it. We're not putting it in your cart. There's no substitution. And I think that's because it was a really good deal. They were hot dogs, Larson hot dogs, if you know. If you know, you know, they are really good. And they were on sale for $5.99. And it was like a bigger than regular size package. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, I'm in a funny mood. Um, but they didn't want to substitute it because there's no way they could have got any kind of deal that was similar to the deal that I was going to get. So they were just like, yeah, you don't need hot dogs. You're good. And they're right. I didn't need them. I just saw that they were on sale and I was like, yup, going to buy some of those. But anyways, $103 and I got some of Winnie's very favorite foods and a few other items that... Um, I just always kind of need to stay stocked up on. The boys basically eat all of their food from Costco. That's where all their favorite things are. And I just did a Costco haul. So you already know they got hooked up. Um, but there's not a lot of food that Winnie likes to eat from Costco other than the fresh fruit and veggies and the bagels. Is that it? Oh, chips. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So I'm happy that I got a few of her things and I didn't even have to step outside of my Jeep to get those things in my Jeep. It was very easy and I do appreciate that. There is like a little bit of a service fee. I think it's like $5. It's really not that much. It is very worth it. Yeah, convenience fee of $5 and they don't accept tips. I actually Googled that today because, <laughs> you know, when we were on vacation, I was like, here you go, five for you. Five for you, 10 for you, Ooh, 10 for you too. <laughs> Every time we got a lift in the shuttle or we ate at a restaurant, of course, like you tip. So I did Google to see if we were allowed to tip and they're not allowed to accept it. So I hope they're getting paid enough so that they, you know, have enough money. I, you guys, people in the service industry do not get paid enough, period. They do not, they do not. I mean, also first responders don't get paid enough. And I'm only saying that because I'm married to one and I know because I seen his bank account. It's also mine. And I see what they have to go through. And it's, I mean, honestly, you could not pay them enough. In my opinion, a first responder, military, nope, nurse, doctor, teacher. <laughs> you cannot pay those people enough. You cannot. So when they ask for your help to like advocate for them, if they're looking for a raise or if they're striking or if they just need like a little petition signed here, a little petition signed there, like help those people out because they're already helping you out. You know what I mean? Anyways, I know why I'm feeling deep today. Ooh, like I'm an ocean, you guys. I am deep and beautiful and I have coral in my soul, okay? <laughs> Let me show you the few things that I picked up for just about a hundred bucks. I cannot do a Winnie food haul without Alpha Getty. This was not the best price at Superstore, but I think it was $2.59 if you bought more than two cans. I bought four. I know I can buy it at Dollarama for about a buck 25, but I did not have time to go to Dollarama and Dollarama does not have a grocery pickup. I got this President's Choice Marinara Pasta Sauce. This is the good shit and it was on sale for $2.79 a bottle. So I got four. It's normally, I think, $5.99 a bottle, which is like slap your mama. Oh my heck, time to start growing some tomatoes and squishing them yourself. But anyways, got some of those. Happy to have it. Got some tomato soup. Cooper has been wanting some goulash, which is whole wheat pasta, tomato soup. Gotta be Campbell's and ground beef. 
I also like to add like onions and peppers and all of the good stuff in mine, but the family likes it plain sometimes with cheese. So got that. Winnie, I'm guessing is going to want this for supper tonight. She loves her rice, you guys. She loves white rice with butter and salt. She had that last night for supper. But I am guessing tonight she is going to want the yellow rice, which again, wasn't on sale. It was $2.99 a box. And I know sometimes I can get it for $1.25 a box. But honestly, you guys, time is playing a big role this week. I am still elbow deep in laundry. I still haven't hauled my Disney stuff. It is still waiting patiently for me. Our suitcases are not unpacked and we're tired. Okay, so this is what I had to do this week. But when I see this again on sale for $1.25, I will be stocking up. I want to focus more on stocking up than I have before because I'm sick of grocery shopping. I really am. So I wanna do it less, but I'll buy more less often so i'm still getting what my family needs i got some pineapple tidbits tidbitties okay i got those tidbitties i love pineapple on my pizza that is what that is for that is something that i forget often i actually open it up and i put um some pineapples in little ziploc baggies then i freeze it because i'm the only one who eats it I freeze it in little serving size. It's almost like. <laughs> I'm envisioning um, like narc TV show. Like, you know, when you just put like a little bit in the bottom of the bag, then you roll up the bag. It just seems very naughty. Like, um, but it's pineapple. So it's not, it's not illegal. Okay. It's pineapple. Even if it's rolled up in a Ziploc bag, it sounds wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I keep those in the freezer um, and then just take them at one bag at a time because I don't actually need a lot of pineapple for one little pita pizza, but I really do like to have it. It adds so much flavor and my mouth is literally drooling. Like I'm, <laughs> I have a pita pizza. Oh my heck. I, I need to make, I'm going to make one either today or tomorrow because your girl has been missing her pita pizzas big time the president's choice blue menu spaghetti was on sale i love whole grain pasta i really do all of my kids love it everyone enjoys it and honestly i think we eat this better than we would the white pasta anyways so yay it's got more fiber and more protein so good for us and it was on sale for $1.49 a box that's why i bought four Cooper has been asking for mint Oreo cookies. He saw me walk in with these. He tried to take them down to his room. I said, Coop man, wait till I'm done my haul and then you can sink your teeth into some delicious mint cream Oreo cookies. These are 10 out of 10. They're 10 out of 10, so good. Um, I think the cookies were on sale for $2.49 if you bought more than two. So I got the mint Oreo, the golden Oreo, classic fave and of course the one who started it all the og the original oreo another one of winnie's absolute favorites the delicio so i got two of her favorite four cheese and then one of the three meat which is what the boys will eat and we've discovered something out about these delicio pizzas when we were shopping in the States, we shopped a lot at a Walmart that was really close to our condo where we were staying in the gated community. And Winnie really wanted pizza, but she's a very picky eater. And I really wanted to come through for her because she had, she threw up like for two days before we left for Florida. So she wasn't eating a lot. And then we went on the trip. She's such a friggin' picky eater that she barely ate anything. So when I had the opportunity to cook something for her, I wanted to be something so good that she will actually eat it. So when we were at that Walmart, I looked high and low for a cheese pizza that would taste similar to her favorite Delicio because we didn't know until we were in the States, Delicio is a Canadian brand. So I looked high and low. I looked in the deli section. I looked in the frozen foods. I looked in the bakery. I looked all around 
for a cheese pizza without green on the top of it, without too much cheese, and without being spicy or too thin of a crust, too thick of a crust, a stuffed crust is no for Winnie. So it was it was a difficult task, but I I did my best as I always do most of the time as a mom. I really do try. So I found DiGiorno. Maybe you already know this, but I did not know this. Got the DiGiorno. It looked very similar to Winnie's Four Cheese Delicio. Got it home. It was what she wanted cooked for her right as soon as we got back to the condo. I cooked it. I was like, wow, this, I did good. Like this pizza looks really good. Similar to the Delicio. Like it, it might pass the test. The kids came out of their rooms and they were like, smells like delicio in here and i was like right it totally smells like delicio in here got the pizza out cooked perfectly just like i cooked the delicios at home cut it up decided to take a bite and i was like this is delicio this is delicio pizza i had the boys come out i was like guys try this because i maybe i'm crazy Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe my wishful thinking is making me, you know, a little bit wrong. <laughs> but I was not wrong. They were like, this tastes like Delicio. I was like, Winnie, get out here. Come here right now. Come taste this pizza. We think it's Delicio pizza. It's DiGiorno, but we think it's Delicio. And I know this is just weird. It's just frozen pizza brands, but it blew my mind. Winnie tried it and she's like, mom, this is actually Delicio. And I was like, girl, I know. So I got on the Google. Same company. They're the same company. They're both owned by Nestle. They're the same company. Delicio is the Canadian version. DiGiorno is the American version. Same pizza, same company. Can you imagine? I just thought that was so cool. And it was the best meal Winnie ate the entire time we were gone. She did eat a lot of fruit. Um, not as many vegetables, but lots of fruit, some vegetables, but the meal that she ate the most was when she had five slices of Delicio pizza or DiGiorno pizza, which is the same as ours. So I was happy that she ate it. I was just beaming ear to ear because it was very frustrating when we would order her food and it would be wrong, like to her standards, it was wrong, even if it was looked good like they cut the grilled cheese wrong oh the cheese is too thick oh why is the cheese orange like she's seven you know and i try and that's it that's all i can do and because the kids are getting back to school lunches i got some kinder bars these go great in school lunches they are peanut free and that's the way we have to be at all of the kids schools can't have peanuts here at all um and I got these for Winnie. I thought she might like to have a little Kinder Surprise. She was very excited to come back to Canada and have a Kinder Surprise because she was a little outraged that in the States they only have Kinder Joys and not a Kinder Surprise. She is not a fan of the joy, but she does love the chocolate on these. So that's $103 or I guess just under $100 if you consider the convenience fee and also the tax, which is a lot more in Canada than it is in the States. That was also something that I was like, when I would go to buy something, I'd be like, oh, this is gonna be like 80 bucks with tax or whatever. And it'd be like, mm, 62, 63. And I'd be like, was that on clearance or something? I didn't notice it. I'd look at the receipt and it's like, a dollar two tax, I have something like that. I mean, math is difficult, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I just was shocked at the tax. I think we used to pay 15% sales tax on pretty much everything. I think it might be 14 or 13 now, but maybe it's back up to 15. Hold on, I'm gonna Google it because I know you guys are gonna ask. It's 15% here, 15, one five. Material girl. <laughs> Go ahead, Justin Trudeau, material girl. <laughs> and I almost forgot about these. I got two bags of Winnie's favorite circle fries, but they were already in the freezer because it was getting very hot and these were starting to melt. To Lulu from Winnie and 
Jasper. You spell Jasper J-A-S-P-E-R. Looks perfect. We're going to Lou's first birthday party. This is what we got her. We got her this baby squeaker lamb. Mm -hmm. And we got her these treats. We bought some for him too when we get home from the party, right? Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Just wait. We got some for you too, Butter Boy, of course. And I got uh, this. <laughs> birthday cake. Happy birthday. And it's a squeaker too, right? No. We actually bought those in the States, huh? And it's watermelon. Mm hmm. Squeaker. Also a squeaker. But we won't do it, yeah, because it will make Jasper go cray cray. Yeah. And a little sign, I think it's a squeaker. Yeah. And did we also get some of those for him too? It was the same thing, and he got two cookies. Yeah, two treats, two cookies. Oh crap! <laughs> and he's like, "What? Hey, Jas, do you want to go to Lulu's house? Do you want to go see Lulu and Grampy and Grammy? Do you want to go to Lulu's and go to her birthday Grandma? party? Yeah. <gasps> it's a yeah. doggy birthday party. It's her first birthday." Yeah. You want to go? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. You have to look cool for your first birthday party you're ever going to. It's crazy. Yeah. You're going to look some sharp. What do you think? Huh? You want to go to Lulu's? You stayed at Lulu's for almost two whole weeks. That was fun, right? Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you're very, very cool. Yes, you are. You want to go for a drive? Let's go to Lulu's. Let's go. You look cute. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> oh, look at her tap dancing. Hi, Lulu. Let's party. <laughs> That's adorable. What the heck? What did Aunt Kimber do? What? She is the coolest aunt. We suck, Don. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> yeah. We're not the cool aunt. That's all right. What? Amazing. What do you guys think? <laughs> of course. Best day ever. What do you think, buds? <laughs> wow. Woo. <laughs> Good job, Jackie. You jump in, Lulu? Oh my heck. I love those balls. Those are so pretty. Yeah, it's her party. She can have a ball, I guess. Malcolm will be the ball wrangler. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Jazz? Yeah, the gang's back together. <laughs> Oh, you're getting sprayed, Jess. What do you think? Like less than it was. That's so cool. Oh, it goes out. a second to get going, yeah. That is friggin' cool. What a party. Kimber, you got a new uh, job as a party planner for dogs. Very cool. Very cool. That's where I, I like that title, you. yeah. <laughs> Look at the gang, guys. So fun. You like that, Mac? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you the oh, oh my heck. That's going to bangle the wave for me. He's there having the go. best time ever going up and down, up and down. I love it. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit? What if we do this and then the balls might maybe make it? Awesome. Oh, yeah, this is freezing. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome.
Izzy's just keeping guard over here. This is the old lady. Oh, yeah. Old lady Izzy, making sure everybody's behaving. She's a little bit of a Karen, not gonna lie. She's a little bit of a Karen, but uh, she's keeping her watchful eye on everyone. Good job, Winnie. Yeah, that's right. She'll probably escape to the AC soon. Are you gonna fall in there? Oh, that's so cool, Mama! No, I'm gonna fall in there. Woo! <laughs> yeah, get in there, Mom. <laughs> I love it. Fishing for balls. You got the right idea, bud. I love it. <laughs> no balls in there now. Better get some more. <laughs> he looks like SpongeBob going jellyfishing. more balls buddy good job oh ball patrol ball patrol <laughs> oh Lulu. happy birthday queen happy birthday lulu found a ball good job lou yep that's the right job it's the ball patrol you put it in <laughs> Good job. Oh, good job, Malcolm. Awesome. <laughs> good job, Mama. Brought some extra sunscreen, Winnie's water, more bubbles for her bubble wand, and of course, a Diet Coke for Mom. Hot dog at a birthday party with real dogs and pools. That's my kind of party, huh? <laughs> Pretty. Oh, I haven't had a hot dog in a couple of years. Mm. How have you not had a hot dog? No, nah, it's been... probably since last summer. <laughs> Seems longer. It's one of the best. Feels so long. Wow. Hot dogs are easily one of the best parts of not being vegetarian. Hey, buddy. Hi. Okay, True. Move but only when you're camping here, for me. So Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> Since the other team left. The senior citizens don't like too much running around yeah. here. <laughs> You've been noisy for the last two hours. <laughs> Screaming your heads off. A goat, Malcolm. We won. Yeah, I've got to be so careful, huh? I'm coming. Oh, baby. What's coming, man? What's coming? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's cake time, everyone. Oh, you guys did so good. You guys did so good decorating them. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, there's Lulu's. That's awesome. That's the doggy cake. Yep. Happy birthday, dear Lulu. Day to you. <laughs> right on time, Jess. Right on time. At a boy. <laughs> she made that special for you. They got dog dog mix for the cake and even dog ice cream. Peanut butter flavor. That's turning my crank. I'm into that. <laughs> yeah, but the sprinkles are beef liver. Maybe yeah. To your taste. Yeah, that's not my preferred flavor. But I do like the PB. Do you think this is an okay size for pups? They'll only eat what they want to eat. They may that's eat right. They They'll throw out the rest. Uh, there's enough for Hopefully one Hopefully not on the way home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is some of the cake stuff we brought home for Aunt Kimber from Target. Yeah. And Aunt Kimber made these with Jackie, Theo, and Malcolm. Don't they look perfect? Winnie picked this one out for me. She thinks this is the best choice. It's a big one. Mm-hmm. I agree. Nice choice. <laughs> and Jackie and Theo. And mm -mm -mm. Perfect. Delicious. Oh, that's delicious. 
Because she knows you lose. He's missing the boat. I told him it was ready and he acknowledged. I'll be right up. That was... You're going to have some cake and ice cream? Oh my heavens. Yeah, baby. Right for that puppy dog ice cream. Is that so good, bud? Oh, wow. Going to eat the cake too? My boy. I didn't know if he'd like it. He loves it. Good job, Aunt Kimber. I don't know if Lulu likes it. Is she eating it? Oh, yeah. She just takes smaller bites. Mm -mm. She's a little more dainty. <laughs> Snowy's like, do I get a piece that big? Wow, Jess ate the whole thing when... He's already done. That was very good, huh? done. All right. For Jasper's birthday, we know what to make him. <laughs> we'll call Aunt Kimber, <laughs> the party planner. <laughs> what did he just get? Oh my heck, he just took a regular cupcake off the table. All right, no more. Yes, I, know. I think Malcolm had one right here. It's it's definitely gone. <laughs> Whoops. Is that good, Mac? I want to get one of them. Is that good? Yeah, baby. Yeah, Snowy's just licking it. She was really Oh, fancy. yeah. Jackie. Jackie's, I mean. Snowy's got a smaller mouth, so she's, or he's got to take littler bites, right? Who did this one? That's amazing. Look at all those balls. <laughs> he doesn't even know what to do. Too much excitement. Oh, what a big boy. It's so cold, huh? Yeah, it's freezing. Are you stepping on it? <laughs> you got a drink there, Jackie. Got a nice drink of water. It's like a fountain. Mm -hmm. Oh, Malcolm sure to get a drink. You getting a drink, buddy? He's like, come here, water. <laughs> oh, is that so good? Wow, delicious. <laughs> oh, Malcolm, you're the cutest. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, the balls are getting out. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, the balls are out. Hi, Lulu. You go fishing for balls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. You're a good fisherman. <laughs> the water's looking a little cloudy. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. We, we might need some baths after this. <laughs> These two missed each other. It's only been like two days away from each other. They're both depressed. We might have to do shared custody. 50-50. <laughs> oh, look! It's the birthday queen! <laughs> and she's ready to give the crown to someone else. <laughs> well... Yeah, she did not like that. <laughs> yeah, if they go on the sprayer, they float for a second. Oh, there goes a red one. That's cool. Good discovery, guys. There goes the blue. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, green one's going for it. That is really cool, though. Wow. It doesn't take much to get us excited. <laughs> I think they love each other. Jasper. Oh, my heck.
Were they yelling at you guys for being loud? Just thinking of liquid dream. I know. Okay. More treats, more I treats. Know, yeah. Thank you. It's white uh, freezy or nothing. Blue. Actually, white, white freezy or blue freezy or nothing. It's blue or white. Mm -hmm. white Always. Thank you. You are welcome. Tastes okay, like 1995. Else? I thought this was a child's treat. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh my sakes alive. Oh my sakes. Look what you got. Some new toys. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lulu. Ooh, little special treats. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> They're all squeakers, too. <laughs> She's like, I don't even know. I can't pick. There's so many good. And it's a cheesy above me. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> we are back home and Winnie chose Delicio for supper. Um, I did give her four pieces, but you know you don't have to eat that many, right? Mommy just gives you that many so the boys don't take it all. Right? <laughs> but I think, what do you guys have? Nachos? Chicken wraps? Why? Are you going to scare me? No. Okay. Stop filming. No, it's still filming. Now you just look funny. <laughs> My low battery mode is on, but it still films when it does that. You want to say hi to anybody out there? What does the four mean? Write it down in the comments, girls. I know you're watching. Tell me what it means. Is it a boy thing only, or do girls know? No. Is it like just Salisbury, or is it like the world? <laughs> Stop, you guys. Tell me, what does four mean? Does it mean like forever, like best friends forever? No. I would never do that if that's what it meant. Does it mean like all for love? No. Like nothing but love Stop for ya? You're not gonna get it. <sighs> If I get it, will you tell me? No. Like, is it like Uncle Jesse? What forever. Forever. I've been so happy loving you. Forever. <laughs> you got me right in the freaking face. All right, the boys are having some chicken wraps. And I thought you were making nachos, but you're just hanging oh, with I'm the chicken wrap. Ten. Oh, game night snacks. One of our um, friends, kids, well, I guess one of Skylar's friends, I used to babysit him. His name is Preston, and he's probably going to be in the NHL someday. Cooper, don't put it away. He's still pretty young. Well, he's one year older than Skylar. Um, they still live here in Salisbury, but he's, they're in something called the Alberta. TELUS Cup right now in Alberta. In Alberta. And... Did you just squirt ketchup all over yourself, you dingus? You totally did. Whoops, splurge. Anyways, um, the team from New Brunswick, the team from Moncton, I think it's the Moncton team, right? Um, they might win the Telus Cup, which has never happened before, so it's kind of a big deal. So he's going to have his nachos when they're watching the game tonight. I'll probably make more food then, too. I always hear the little, I should say, the big moose feet. It's not a little pitter-patter. It's like 11.30 every night, I hear the pantry open. And you wonder why I have to spend so much money on groceries. I'm growing very healthy children. Worth every penny. Is it? Is it from baby? So why do you do it? Is it from DeBaby, actually? I don't know. Listen, I just Googled it, and apparently DeBaby started it, and it's a gang sign from Florida. Apparently it is, then. Are you in a gang? Did you join a gang last week? Oh, dang. <laughs> is it near the beach? Because I'll come. Hold on to the beach. <laughs> just dropping these cool dudes off to play a little b-ball with their friends. Doggy. Before bedtime. Oh yes, and there's a little doggy walking. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, we are gonna end the vlog here. It is just after 8.30. <gasps> And this little queen is so tired. She stayed at Grammy and Grampy's house a little bit longer than I did because I had stuff to get done at home and she wanted to play with her cousins. And she's so tired that what was happening on the couch, ma'am? Mm. What was happening on the couch, ma'am? She was falling asleep. <laughs> like over and over and over again. She said, I kept falling asleep every five seconds that I would wake up and I would try to open my eyes, but I kept falling back asleep. So it's 8.30. We're going to go inside, get her ready for bed. And the boys are getting a drive home from one of the other boys' moms tonight. So that's perfect because Curtis is at work. <sighs> I'm so happy. I really am. So happy to be happy again. <sighs> I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. What was that? It was a bug. I tried to blow it away. You tried to blow it away by spitting on it? Not blowed. <gasps> <laughs> I blew. <I'm> <laughs> oh, the bugs are back, you guys. We love you. See you tomorrow. Oh, wait. Shut Four it. fingers. The freak does that mean? Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.